published 1752 Eastern Standard Time, 10 November 2017 Updated 1805 Eastern Standard Time, 10 November 2017 As England's young lions continued to impress at all levels, the curious case of George Hurst and Sheffield Wednesday illustrates a problem facing the best teenage footballers in the country. Hurst and Wednesday should be a match made in heaven One is the son of an Owls legend who dreams of scoring goals at Hillsborough, and the other a club desperate for the tonic of a homegrown hero. Yet the 18-year-old striker is set to leave when his contract expires at the end of the season, having reached the inescapable conclusion that the club he loves does not have his best interests at heart. The case of George Hurst at Sheffield Wednesday shows a problem facing teenage footballers as Hurst was scoring 40 goals across different age levels last season, the Owls were busy stockpiling more senior strikers and effectively blocking his route to the first team. He still agreed to sign a new contract and continue his development on loan, the talks with chairman Dej Fanchansiri stalled upon a disagreement about where he might spend the season. Wednesday rejected a bid from Leicester in August worth pounds two million and Leeds had a formal approach turned down. Both clubs remain keen as so do many others. The 18-year-old striker is set to leave when his contract expires at the end of the season Hurst has not played for Wednesday at any age level this season, and, when asked for an update, Owls boss Carlos Carvalho claimed it was completely out of my orbit. Has not a player who is involved with us, said Carvalho. I am the manager, but am not a person to do contracts and talk about these things. Hurst's only football comes with England, who were eager for him to remain involved after he scored four goals for the under-20s and was named in the team of the tournament at Towlin in June. Despite scoring at youth level and for England, Hurst cannot get into Carlos Carvalho's team followed with a hat-trick for the under-19s against Poland in September, and is with them this week for European qualifiers against the Faroe Islands Iceland and Bulgaria. There are some similarities with Dominic Solanke who barely played for Chelsea at any level last season having made it clear he would be leaving at the end of his contract. England kept faith and Solanke helped his country win the Under-20 World Cup in the summer before joining Liverpool, where he thought the path to the first team might be clearer. Chelsea, however, had been in pursuit of the Premier League title, with Eden Hazard, Diego Costa, Pedro, and William competing for places up front. There are some similarities with Dominic Solanke, who left Chelsea due to a lack of chances at Wednesday, fourth in the championship last season and beaten in the playoffs, Hurst's opportunities have been limited by Gary Hooper, Stephen Fletcher, Fernando Forstieri, Lucas Joao and Dat Nuhu. Earlier this year, aware Hurst had been tearing it up in the youth ranks, they bought two more strikers, Sam Winnell and Jordan Rhodes. It is a bizarre approach to nurturing the most exciting youngster to emerge from their academy for a generation. Across the city, Sheffield United are in the habit of producing Premier League players, such as Kyle Walker, Kyle Naughton, Matthew Lowton, Harry Maguire and Dominic Calvert-Lewin. Midfielder David Brooks is the latest starlet attracting scouts to Bramall Lane. Hurst's progress is blocked by a proliferation of senior strikers at the Owls such as Gary Hoover Owls fans cheered Hurst on for his debut as a substitute in a Carabao Cup tie at Cambridge United, but he is set to leave, having played only 41 minutes of first-team football for the club he has supported all his life. After this international break he will face the prospect of no competitive action until the under-19s meet again at the end of February. His development is losing momentum and Wednesday will be paid a fraction of what it could ultimately be worth to them. There is no winner.